show you some great little tricks for making photo corners, like I promised. These photo corners you can stamp on, you can trim the edges with decorative scissors, or make punch designs. You can see they also can cover up the dates on pictures if you accidentally found a great picture and it has the date on it. They're very easy to do. Let me give you an example here. It's just I cut strips of paper, folded one corner over, and then folded the second one to make a point here. Then you simply cut off the excess, add a little bit of tape to close it, and you have your very own photo corner to match exactly what you want. Here's another way to do decorative photo corners. Instead of folding the corner to meet the other corner in the center, I simply measured an inch, folded it over to meet that inch, and we have a kind of photo, photo corner like that. Makes a nice presentation with the bright yellow flower. Whenever I want to stamp on a photograph, I always try and use acetate. It just makes the, uh, the words pop a little bit, and it looks just a little bit nicer. I'm videoing outside today, and my neighbors are all doing craft projects, so I hope you can hear me okay. There's another reason to do your own photo corners, too, and that is if you have an unexpected picture that you like with something in it that you don't really want, just like the date. On this particular one, I took two strips of paper. This one I folded so that it, the corner was pointed. This one I folded over like this, leaving a little narrow border in the center. That way, when I slip this one inside of it, I have a two-color border. And it also covers up most of that blue area, which I couldn't cut off because I would lose part of the saddle. So that's a really fun way to make your own photo corners, and you can fix a lot of errors that way. I wanted to show you another thing that I promised was sometimes when we stamp on two pieces of paper, although it looks really beautiful, sometimes the thickness of the paper causes the stamp not to stamp. So I wanted to show you how to fix that. Take the same stamp pad that you stamped the card in, add a little bit of water, take your brush and dab it into the side. If you use the top, sometimes it dilutes the ink pad so that it's not easy to use again. So just go into the side where all that extra ink is and simply dab on the finishing touches to the design. You can also sometimes, if you use this basil paper and it didn't cover it completely, you can just add a little bit there. But as you can see, just fill in any part that wasn't stamped with your paintbrush. Oh, that's quick.